if you put if you're honest on your resume uh i'm not saying be dishonest but hey you heard me if you're honest on your resume that's not going to work for you another thing is i notice uh 75 percent 73 i think it's 73 of people that watch this video my videos are not subscribed so before you leave hit the subscribe button and like the video and then you know what i'm saying become part of the family Jordan year 23, we going 6 and 0 this year, you heard? Champagne everywhere, nigga. Turn nothing out of something, man, that's really something. Made a couple hundred bands, man, I'm really coming. On the gram, talking like he's something. You are now tuned in to another episode of the Guns Up Club podcast. I am your host, Mikey. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Nice to meet you. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you've been here, welcome back. <clears throat> so I did a video a couple, a couple of videos ago about how you can earn six figures in, uh, basically without a degree. And you guys asked a bunch of questions. I got the questions. So today in this episode, we're going to answer all of them. I'm trying to get through as much as I can. So, um, you know, you guys can get more knowledge about this. So I'm going to go. Th if I go through my phone, you know, I apologize. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at your questions. So, uh, um, and they're going to be right here. All the questions are going to be right here. So um, let's get to it. And let's get to the first question. Um, so someone asked, uh, thanks for the info, bro. What specific field do you recommend personally on IT? Which is kind of easy to enter. Uh, I mean, don't look for the easy route, for one. And two, uh, if you look for some basic to start off, um, I would look into more into, um, if you want to get into like the, you know, um, uh, the tech aspect or the business side, there's two sides. So you can either look at, uh, scrum master, or if you want to go the either easier route, I would go for the manual testing route. So look that up. That's, that's the answer for you, but never look for the easy route. That's not the right way to go about it, you know, cause if it gets a little intense for you, you're going to quit. So that's my point. Question number two. Uh, uh, I just liked, I just subscribed to your channel. I really need more info about this, please. Like how you take the class, which one specifically, and et cetera. Uh, I think this goes hand in hand with the first question that I answered. Uh, if you're really looking for a class, you're one Google search away, which you can search. Um, there's a lot of boot camps or there's a lot of courses that people teach that you can find and, uh, learn the business side or learn the whole like corporate, corporate side of things. So, you know, just get into, you know, just learn, take one of the courses. I would look more into, like I said, the, I don't want to say the easy side, but manual testing just go for that and then see go from there and then see what you like you know what i mean and we're gonna go to question three i have a network systems engineering diploma and com tia a certified i still can't find any job with zero years of experience they at least require one to two years of experience i live in canada what do you advise me um uh, first of all all right you didn't hear this from me but you never put zero experience on your resume, never. Even if, uh, you know, all these uh, schools, what they teach you is when they, all these boot camps, what they teach you is when you go to school, the school is considered as experience, you know what I mean? So uh, build something. I'm pretty sure you're a very uh, knowledgeable person. So build something and then put that on your resume. Or if you put, if you're honest on your resume, uh, I'm not saying be dishonest, but hey, you heard me. If you're honest on your resume, that's not going to work for you. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just make your resume at least three to five years of experience, however way you can. Just do uh, build something and use that as experience. Or, uh, you know what I mean? Just, just hit me up on the gram. We could talk about that. Just hit me on the gram, so. Yeah, that's all I would say. Uh, another question. Um, 
Hey, Mickey, how's it going, brother? I have a question for you, bro. If you're interested, I'm new to U.S. I would like to recommend, if you'd like to recommend me a course, I can work from home, please, thanks. <laughs> um, like I said, I would look at, um, I will put, I will put uh, some of the um, courses or some of the courses you guys can take and the link in the description. So just follow those links and, and do your own research too. Don't, don't expect me to give you like all the, all the answer. You know what I mean? You have to do your own research in order for you to grow as a person. Uh, you know, so I'm going to put the link so you follow and then just, you know, and then whenever you need guidance, reach out to me and then I'll, you know, I'll give you some guidance, but you know, I'll put the link down in, in the description below, but don't look more into like, yo, I want to work from home, but more into like get in the field first and then that's going to come with it regardless. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I don't know if that answered your question, but yeah, that's uh, that's four. I think we got a couple more questions. These are like basic questions people ask. I, I don't know if they, uh, except for the la last, the question before this was good. It was a good question, but. Uh, someone asked, uh, I'm new to your channel. I knew you because of Johnny, but now I'm one of your members of your family. Thank you for subscribing. I saw your, I uh, saw some of your videos and I have some questions. Can I ask you? Yeah, you can ask me, uh, leave it in the comments here. So I would say, let me say this, right? I already answered a bunch of questions, but let me, let me kind of like give you a summary. Um, uh, if you guys are technically new to this thing, don't look at the aspect of like working from home. Yeah, it's amazing, but uh, look for like how do I get into this and how do I maintain it? You know what I mean? If you're just trying to get in with no experience uh, or you're just trying to get in just to work from home, uh, you won't be able to maintain the job as you need a little knowledge to keep, to maintain the job and keep going. You know what I'm saying? So if you want, my fridge is going crazy, but... If you want, uh, I would start off with something easy like a, 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 ma a, manual, a manual testing or if you want to go on the business side, let me wait for the water. If you want to go on the business side, you know, I would look for like something easier. I don't want to say the, that word, but uh, like a scrum master or something like that. And then I would go for, you know, getting the certificates uh as as while you're taking the courses and stuff and then do your own uh research as well by going to youtube and take there's a lot of information on youtube you guys can look that up there's channels that specifically um uh, telling you um like an actual course from like one of those uh boot camps that they uh, upload on there it's for you to learn so it takes some time so learn that once you get that get a uh, try to get certified and then there's interview questions on YouTube and then you can brush up your own resume and then, you know, get the job. So it's not, it's not, uh, it's, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that bad. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that's all the, that's everything I had for today. If you have any more questions, be specific, just be like, how do I get into it? I mean, you should, that's just like Google's your answer, but be specific when you ask questions and be specific on what you want to do be like don't ask me to tell you oh do this but you know what i mean because i feel like i'm guiding you to into get into something you won't even have interest in so if you want to if you want to get into something first look at it and see what fits you and then ask about that question come and ask me about that question so we can literally talk about it or i'm gonna answer your question like that you know what i'm saying so yeah, that's all I got today. Um, thank you to the new family that's been liking and subscribing. Like this video. Let's get to 100 likes this time. I think I got to 68 on my um, third or second, two videos before this. But like the video, and, uh, you know, it helps the algorithm and then helps us grow together. You know what I'm saying? We had 2,200 subscribers. I was at 1,500 two weeks ago. So this channel is definitely growing. And... Uh, Another thing is I noticed uh, 75%, 73, I think it's 73, of people that watch this video, my videos are not subscribed. So before you leave, hit the subscribe button 
and like the video and then you know what i'm saying become part of the family and then i give our game about finance and shit like that so uh thank you for watching i'm gonna see y'all in the next video peace